They keep everything. I've been acquiring things as long as I can remember. It was out of control. This I want to keep. Keep, keep that. And risk losing so much more. My husband moved out. I am threatened with eviction. I'm scared that he's going to completely break down. It's like leading a double life. It started downstairs. And then the family room. And the kitchen. Hoarding has ruined my life. It's just got to the point where there's too much. It is embarrassing. I think I want to keep it. Living with a hoarder is a living hell. I have never told anybody. We just want you to get better. We will do whatever it takes. No, oh, what if I can't get rid of it? Inside this New York apartment, a man's secret life is exposed. Under all of this is a bed. Here is the bathtub. Someone actually lived here, and he was a compulsive hoarder. It looks as though there's some discomfort with... Kristen Bergfeld is a professional organizer and specializes in extreme cases. For some, a mental illness is at work. Others simply can't force themselves to clean up, despite the best intentions. When the clutter is so thick that it harms the quality of life, They've crossed the line from pack rat to hoarder. There's a real need to barricade in and to nest and to almost build a bunker so that you are surrounded and maybe protected. This man filled two apartments, a house, and five storage units floor to ceiling. The amazing thing is to the outside world, the squalor can be completely hidden from view. Hoarders live functional lives. They can hold down jobs and show up for work every day immaculately groomed. That was the case here, and you can see how he pulled it off. In the middle of the chaos are clean, pressed shirts and expensive suits. Nobody, not even his family, knew what was going on. They know that people will look and say, oh, you know, my God, how can you live like this? This is incredible or filthy or, or disgusting. Authorities are starting to see this personal problem as a public health issue. At least half a dozen cities have created decluttering task forces. What they're finding is that hoarders come from all parts of society and can be any age. But the condition is most common among the elderly. It's a growing problem the graying of America will only make worse. Josh Landis, CBS News.